infrastructure needs to be put in place, first of all, by the public sector, by the government, through different uh, areas. For example, first, is it legislative that you need to start to start the infrastructure or do you need to start first and legislative? It's sometimes it's like in some nations, it's a chicken or the egg, which comes first, which makes it uh, more difficult, much more slower. Uh, the larger the nation, most of the time, the more it takes because there's more jurisdictions, more uh, scrutiny, more states, more borders to cross. So, when you come and you want to start an infrastructure, the infrastructure is not only for a logistical development, it's not only for tourism development, it's not only for the better living of, uh, the, you know, the better environment of people to, uh, to live in. It's a combination of, of all of that. And that's what drives an economic, economic corridor infrastructure as well. You need to have bases. You need to start somewhere. You will not just come and say, okay, today I want an economic corridor and start it from scratch. That will not happen. You need to build the economic corridors as you go in different stages, depending on the environment that is surrounding you, depending on your neighbors, depending on what value added items can be done depends on how fast the legislations are changing depending on how fast the infrastructure is being put in place as well as everyone needs to share a vision a long-term vision like we had for example in the uae and in the gulf region we have uh, more of a logistical corridor which hopefully will be developed into a further economical corridor as uh, it's been uh, announced uh, pre uh, several times by our leaders, one of the main instigators of that would be the, uh, uh, the GCC rail that's going to come into play. As currently the GCC is situated as a nodal hub, has created itself and cemented itself, especially through the UAE, as a nodal hub for logistics and transport. Most of the major shipping lines traversing from east to west or west to east do stop at the UAE. When the development started in uh, 1977, at that time, Jabal Ali Port was in the middle of nowhere in Dubai, many, many kilometers away from the closest residential areas. We, uh, we had another port called Port Rashid, which is still not being fully utilized. It's uh, been constructed more than what it has been needed for future development. So people were saying, some people were saying uh, to His Highness, why are you going and building the largest man-made port in the middle of nowhere? And today, after, you know, from, from 77 to today, 40 years, you can see that there was a vision. Port Rashid did not sustain Dubai's growth in the 90s. That so Jabal Ali port has already been developed 20 years ago to, to take over in the 90s and boost Dubai's trade, bring in the companies, create an economic zone, and today link with an international airport in one custom-bound area to create one of the best logistical hubs available there in the world. This initiative is a great initiative. It brings in uh, the uh, key stakeholders uh, people sit across the board, talk, uh, listen to other people's thought. Such initiatives, they build the ground for future development, for a long-term prosperity.